If you're wondering how to create, import, organize and use presets in Luminar Neo, then this brand new updated tutorial covering the entire presets module is exactly what you need. Now we have a lot to go through, so let's start right now. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo, where we're gonna start in the catalog module. Here, as you can see, I have a number of images. They all in different styles, pet and forest, portrait, cityscape, forest, landscape, macro and food. Now, don't worry if you don't have them. They will just help us to showcase the different functionality of the presets module. Well, first come first, how do we access the presets module? It's really simple. You can hit T on your keyboard to access it, or you can click on a presets on the top of your screen. Looking at the different sections here, we have a preview of the image, presets toolbar, and then we have the film strip at the bottom. Let's just go through it in not much details, just very basically. So the preview right here, you can zoom in or out using the wheel on your mouse or command or control plus. Then the toolbar, just very quickly, has the for this photo section, which will give you recommendation based on your image. So now we have some portrait suggestions, but when we change, let's say into the forest, it will change into forest suggestions, or even when we change to the pet, it should also give us a pet suggestions. So these are some preset collections that are suggested by the application. Then we have a shortcuts and they may look a little bit differently on your computer, but don't worry, we will go through them in a moment. After that, big yellow button to get more presets from Luminar Neo Marketplace and then some shortcuts recently added, which will showcase the last two preset collections you have added and then shortcuts to some of the preset collections that are built in in the application. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will also notice a section called New Marketplace Arrivals, which will showcase some of the latest preset collections available at the marketplace. Now, quickly looking at our film strip, as you see, you can very quickly select the image you want to work on. Also, you can mark your image as your favorite or rejected, and you can also rate your image from zero all the way to five stars. Finally, there is a three dots in a circle. And when you click on that, you can revert to original, which basically reset the image. You can create virtual copy and you can also save the image or save the edit as a preset. And actually, I think that's the first thing we should do. We should create the preset and apply it so you can see how that works. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, let's just select very quickly the picture of this young lady. We will move it into the edit module. We will not do anything fancy here. We're just going to go into the enhance AI and increase it. So let's do that somewhere around, let's say 50. After that, we're going to close this, open the vignette, just bring it down a little bit to add little nice edges to the image. And finally, quick look into the portrait section where we open the face AI, add a little bit of face light and maybe the skin AI, a little bit of shine removal and a little bit of softening. Nothing crazy. Let's just close the tool. And next thing we need to do is to save it. How do we save this edit? Well, we're going to go back to our three dots in a circle, which is the same for all the three modules, catalog, presets and edit. We're going to click on that and select save as preset. Just in one second, we appear again in the presets module, this time in my presets section. Here you can see we have our preset already added. And next thing we need to do is to choose the name. So we're going to call it simple natural portrait. Once done, just hit enter. Now, once we add preset, let's go back to our same icon with a circle and three dots and let's click on revert to original. So this is the image without any edit to it. Now we can go back to our my preset section where we can apply the preset to our image very easily just by clicking on it. And as you can see, it just takes a second and apply it. Once we apply the preset, you can also notice that we have a new slider available, which allow us to adjust how much of that look is applied to the image. By default, it's on 100, but we can bring it down and see what works the best for us. 
Next to it, we have a three icons here. One, basically just remove that preset from the image. So when I click on it, it will disappear. Next one, when we click on the three dots, this is where we can adjust our preset. We can edit it. We can rename it. We can delete it. And we can also click on show in finder, which will show us a location where it's saved on our hard drive. Finally, there is an option to add this preset into our favorites. So let's click on that and do that. So this is how you create preset and how you control it in my presets window. Now let's go back and let's go back up where we now going to look at our shortcuts. In the shortcuts, we will start from the top. This is where we can see our X membership. X membership is a simple membership provided by Skylum which offer you for a monthly or yearly fee number of creative elements like presets, skies, overlays, courses, and so on. If you are a member of X membership, you will see this icon here. And when you click on it, it will show you the preset collections you get with this membership. If you can't see the preset collection here, what you can do, you can click on the extras in the top right corner of the screen, which will open a new window. Here, you can navigate into the X membership and look at the preset collections that come with your membership subscription. Now you can see there are some overlays here, skies, presets, some of them already installed. But as I go through the actual list, let's have a look. Japan Autumn Dream is not installed yet, so I can click on install and it takes a second and it's already added here. Let's go through it even further. Astrophotography. So again, click on install. And further, maybe portraits, again, click on install. So now we have added three more collections here. Once we finish, you just click on the red dot and we can come back. Now, as you notice with our collections, the ones that are coming from the X membership have this little icon on them. So when I go back and let's say that I'm in this view, when I click on the little icon of the X membership, it will bring me back to this X membership folder. From here again, I can select the collection and very quickly the application will create the quick previews for us so we can just easily go through and see what gets applied and what works for my image. So let's say that I like this one. I can click on it again. I can adjust the amount. So let's say that it's a little bit too strong on 100, but I like it somewhere around 60. And from here, I could very easily just go into the edit module into the edits and adjust any of the adjustments here or continue editing using any of the tools available in the application. But for now, let's go back to presets where again, let's have a look. We were on Nomad, I think. So select that again. We were somewhere around 60. And if I really like the look, what I can do again, I can click on the heart and add it to my favorites. Now, not only that, now you can also add the entire collections into the favorite. So add preset to favorites is the little heart next to the preset itself. And to add the collection, you can click on the heart in the top right corner of the collection itself. So just like that, add to the favorites. If let's say that I also like the stories collection, then I can also click on the heart here. And after this, we can go back and this will bring us nicely into the next section, which are the favorites. So let's click on that and let's start by looking at the top here. So in the preset section, we see the presets we have favorite. So those are the individual presets. You can see the number of the presets. So now we have two, but you can also organize them based on your needs by clicking on this little icon where you can apply custom order so you can organize them by yourself or you can sort them by recently added or by the preset name. To order them based on how you need, you just need to take them and drag them around. Similarly, with the collections, here you will notice the number of collections in the favorites collections category. Again, you will see the shortcut to the X membership here if it's a X membership collection. And similarly, you can drag the collections around to reorganize them or you can use the shortcut here where you can go for the custom order recently added and collection name. If we want more collections, we can go back and let's say that we move into the purchase section where we can add few more. So let's just go through it quickly. I will add few that I have created earlier. 
and then back to presets, into favorites, into collections, where now we have more collections. And again, you can see how I can very easily move them around based on what I need. So for example, the egg hunt, that's the Easter collection. I can for now move it at the bottom because I'm not going to need it until next year, but maybe my moody months as I'm into the pet photography now, I can put on the top. Just to show you very quickly, let me select a few extra presets as well. After this, going back to presets, you can see a longer list here. Again, you can just very quickly and very easily adjust them just by dragging them around and clicking on the icon. You can choose the recently added and presets name. Finally, if you don't like this preset anymore and you want to remove it from the favorites collection, just click on the heart again. And in the collection, similarly, just click on the heart and remove it. So this is the favorite section. Well, from here, we can go back and continue this time into the My Presets section, which you already seen. We have already created our preset, natural portrait here, but let's go ahead and create another preset. So let's say that we're going to go into the forest. Same thing, we're going to jump into edit, just apply nice enhanced AI, and then into the atmosphere AI where we can add some nice fog to the image. So let's go crazy, bring it in front, something like this. Now I think that the image is a little bit too warm, so we can also quickly jump into the develop tool, take the color section and the temperature slider and bring it down somewhere around here. Now it's not very complex, but this will do. Again, we can save this as a preset by going into the little circle icon with the three dots and selecting save as preset. Now we can call it, let's say, cool fog enhancer and just click on enter. So now we have a two presets here and it works exactly the same as the favorites section where you can just drag them around when we can select the preset here and continue. So in the my preset sections, again, you can just drag the presets around and select them and apply them to your image. If you think that the edit is too strong, you can always adjust its strength by using the little slider. If you don't like this preset anymore, don't forget that you can also click on a three dots and from here, simply click on delete. You will be asked if you want to remove this preset. So just click on remove and the preset will disappear. Okay, so this is the my preset section. Now let's go back and move into the purchase section. This is where all your purchase collections are going to go. Just before we're going to continue, a quick reminder that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Essential Preset Bundle. This bundle includes over 41 preset collections that includes over 410 professionally crafted presets. So if you're just starting with presets or building your own library, this is a great product to start with. Now, if you want to get it for the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website at Clever Photographer. Again, on the top, we have the counter. So as you can see, I have a 44 collections. And again, we can sort the preset collections here. Now you can't drag them around, but you can click on the little shortcuts and choose between recently added and collection name. If you want, you can also choose between ascending and descending. So it's up to you. I prefer the recently added, but if I get lost, I think the option to sort the preset by their name is quite nice addition. Again, from here, it works exactly the same as in all the other folders. You open the collection, you give it a moment to create the previews and then just hover over and see what works the best. Again, click on the preset, adjust the strength. You can choose the favorite or reset it and continue. So this is the purchase section. But since we already here, how do you add a new preset collection? Well, it's really simple. All you need to do is to click on add and then navigate towards the location of your preset collection. So let's go ahead and add one of my latest collections from the pets bundle. Click on it and click on open. It only takes a second and the collection appears. And again, you can open it and start applying the presets to your image. Finally, going back to our presets menu, 
where under other folders, you can see the different preset collections. Once again, the recently added preset collections, which are the two preset collections you have just added, and then shortcuts to the different preset collections that come with the application. To say that, all the way at the bottom, don't forget that there is the new Marketplace Arrival section, which will show you the latest preset collections available at the Marketplace. And to finish it off, when we go back to our For This Photo section, when you scroll all the way towards the end, there is always one collection suggested by the application. It's a collection you don't have, but you can purchase. So if you click on it, it will open and it will give you preview of the presets inside of this collection. So you can also preview these presets by hovering over them. And if you like them, if you like the looks, you can just click on one of the presets and that specific preset collection will open in the marketplace and you will be able to buy it from here. The last and final thing I want to show you is the possibility to remove the preset collection or the preset. So if we go into the purchase section and let's say that I don't want to use the timeless outdoor walks anymore, I can right click on a preset collection and simply select delete collection. Again, you will be asked if you want to do that. You can click on delete and delete it. Just don't forget, if you delete it from here, you want to have a copy somewhere so you can always install it again if you need. So this was the presets module. But what about the edit module? or the catalog module? Or how about all the different tools? Well, our Clever Photographer YouTube channel has a video available for every single tool in this software. So don't stop now, continue learning by clicking or choosing one of the video tutorials available on your screen now.